Hey, how you doing? It's me, Gerald, and uh, I'm still in Portland, in case you hadn't guessed. <laughs> still in my room. No, this is not my mom's house. Stupid people. Anyway, the reason I'm making this video is, once again, I'm getting these... I hate this uh, new YouTube setup, dude. I have no idea how to uh, answer someone's video with video response. Does anyone know how to do anything about that? Regardless, <laughs> I wanted to bring up my favorite subject. And what is that, everybody? Religion. And their ridiculous notion that there's a superhero in the sky going to protect you from all things evil. Make sure your ship doesn't blow up, or your plane doesn't get hijacked by terrorists, or what have you. Or you get an illness and you get well because you prayed to your God, what have you. This is pretty much directed at folks like you. Christians, Muslims, Jews, monotheism, panotheism, all theism, and deification of things, it's just... Stone Age ignorance, and since it's the uh, 21st century, do you think it's even about time we stopped all that crap, you know, and uh, woke up out of here? You know, consider not. We got, you know, Catholic priests running around raping and molesting uh, our young children when you send them to a school that you, you feel is a hundred times safer than public school or you wouldn't have sent them there because for instance Catholic schools you have to pay a tuition it's not tax exempt you know I mean it's tax exempt so they can't use state funds <coughs> so anyway uh, the, the point is that uh, all these truths like the Catholic the, the, the Pope now now it says he's in a scandal He's distancing himself away from American bishops because, well, they work for him, you know. And he's trying to deny it. It's too funny. Y'all really should pay attention to that. And I've got a whole bunch of these Muslims uh, writing me and commenting to me, calling me all kinds of fat bastards, how someone stole my daughter, and so I, I have a vendetta against them or something. They always make up weird, crappy stuff, man, to say to somebody. Like, it's kind of like the thing in, the, in our uh, in our culture here in America. There are a certain group of people that like to call uh, call people like me uh, uh, crackers. Uh, I don't know. Doesn't insult me. I have no idea what it means. <laughs> you know, and I've been called it a million times. I don't get it. I do not get it. You know. I, Oh, I understand. It's probably it's a personal thing, meaning I'm a, I'm a loser or something, whatever, I'm sure. But, hey, come on. That was kind of silly, wasn't it? Well, that's because this is a silly day. It's... You know, it's only the 2nd of April, so I'm still feeling a little foolish. Uh, my sister's birthday was yesterday. I can't stand the broad, so I really can't wish her a happy birthday. She's too fucked up in the head and stuff. Anyway, I thought I'd go ahead and take that bong in for you. I thought you might like that. Not really a bong, it's my glass one. A friend of mine blew for me. And some budley that we picked from the garden and dried. See? Zamboni. <laughs> I only listen to music at certain times of the day and stuff. And anyway, so here we are, religion. Insidious. It's it's stupid to think. I mean, come on, it's not logical. There's I just watched a tape that says believing in God is not only rational, it's logical too. <laughs> What are you talking about? It's the most irrational, the most unreal thing you can do is to believe in a supreme being deity thing that to worship and focus on and pray to and and beg from for crying out loud some of you people. I mean, just what is it with y'all? Is it that 
you find the, the, the preachers and stuff that charismatic that you believe that stuff? Maybe you need to get a hold of the uh, Amazing Randy. I, I'm not thinking you'd be an atheist. I'm not sure, but he should be if he isn't. <laughs> Nothing wrong with being an atheist. It, should be, it just means that your mind is clear and free thinking and that you're not concerned with going to some hell or heaven when you die. As if there's any real concern, as if you need it. Right? And then we come up with, you know, the government say one thing and do another, blah, blah, blah. It's really irritating me in America, the way things are being. The Christian right is slowly, slowly, but surely pushing their agenda into the country. They've uh, been allowed to leave in uh, uh, under God in the pledge. Uh, uh, instead of e pluribus unum, in God we trust. I don't trust a God, especially when it's killed billions of freaking people. You guys are too much. All that stuff. You pay some preacher a hundred thousand a year to come in and say a prayer at Congress or something. What's that all about? Really, where is separation in church and state? Then we have Matt Lauer asking Obama, "Well, you've been in for a year. Have you chosen a church yet?" He, the fuck. Maybe he has it. Maybe he won't. I hope he doesn't. I hope he sticks to his guns. I hope he sticks to the, to the uh, point that he made about uh, a lot of unbelievers here also. He made that point, but he's not living up to it. So what do we do? Do we appease them? Kowtow to them? Let them wear their burqas when they go and get their driver's license? It's stupid. Do we allow them to uh, hold up signs that say uh, kill this, that, and the other when UN passes a resolution making blasphemy a freaking crime? Excuse me? You in the Middle Ages again or something? What the hell's happened to the rest of you, the, you with the world? You actually outlawed making fun of a ridiculous institution. And you have made yourselves look even more ridiculous than you have in many, many years. The Supreme Court has made themselves look ridiculous. Unbelievable. That's what happens, though, when you let a bunch of idiots that have to profess to believe in some magical being in order to get elected to an office. That's fucked up. There's supposed to be laws against that. Come to find out, Arkansas, there's actually a law on the books that if you don't believe in a deity, you cannot run for office. Excuse me? True story. There's many more, but you know how they are here at YouTube. Ten minutes max. Got to quit a little early than you like sometimes. Okay, get over it. We'll have to work with it. I'm not sure I like this new format, you do. But if anybody has an answer to my query, why should we respect any religion when they're all ridiculous? Mythological. Just explanations of nature. And trying to control. And that's all it is. Come to grips with that, you'll be just fine. I swear. Your life will be so much smoother. You couldn't imagine how, how much easier it is to live around not worrying about whether you're going to go to this goofy hell or goofy heaven, okay? Your life is now. You can live it. Live it as good as you can. Be a good person. You don't have to worry about shit. I'm Gerald Reynolds. I'm going to sign off. And that's my take on America. Good night.